What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action spawning on the top of the map in the blue color playing as Set. His name is Joe. His opponent today in the red color playing as Ra. His name is Kimo. The map is Savannah. This is a best of seven for the best of the best losers finals. It's currently two to one in this best of seven. First of four, if you can't do the math, I know I struggle. That's why I have to ask you guys to help me out with. But we've already found a relic here on this map. It is the Boots of Kick Everything. I actually have a fairly decent relic. So we'll see if it matters or not in this game. We've got Joe immediately moving forward to his hunt here. Kimo, on the other hand, has found his home hunt. Very, very good. Uh, both players have found their home hunt, in, in fact. But uh, Joe's going to be eating these Ford Giraffe. Uh, I'm not sure why he went for this instead of this hunt here. He's... There's no real reason to hold onto your hunt as set in your base because you're the one who should have the map control. So we'll see if that's going to matter. We do see that the Pharaoh for Chemo Larry has spotted his own second hunt. But honestly, with this much hunt in the home base as, as Ra, you're going to be completely fine. And we see he's gone hunting dogs. He's already sent seven villagers over to food here. So clearly going for what seems to be a fast classical age but generally speaking when you're going for the fast classical ages you, you might want to put some villages onto gold a bit earlier got the pharaoh coming over here going to be uh checking out the stuff and seeing what he can do uh and yeah we'll see how this goes uh, it's been a lot of Aranus in this series so far from Kimo, and he is deciding to switch into ra normally in these tournament games Kimo switches into ra when he feels like he's losing the grip on the series. He normally starts with Aranos, and if he if he's feeling like he's not going to be able to win, he switches into the Ra as a last ditch effort, um, because otherwise he he doesn't have an option to change into. If he feels like he can't win the Ra, what does he go with? You know what I mean. So he saves his best for last, and he's going to attempt to uh, to show what he's got in this game. He's drawn up the houses over on this side of the map. Doing all of the good stuff that he does. We've got the goats wandering around, doing their thing. And Joe is now moving over here. He's got three villages on gold, throwing the houses up. We'll see if he gets a monument first or the temple first. Do you see the hyena has spotted this town center here? Uh, and honestly, this is not a bad map here for Joe at all. Both back town centers, but more importantly, this wood line cuts this town center off of this town center. Oh, sorry, this town center off of this gold mine. This gold mine over here, very far away. And this home gold mine, very exposed. So we'll see what Joe's going to do. But if Joe gets like, Joe, Joe could just simply... Joe could go one town center fast heroic here. Spam chariot archers right here. If Kimo goes two town center patar, you hit the heroic age at like seven minutes ish. You cast ancestors here in the base, or if he's cast rain, you don't. You cast ancestors here to push off the gold mine. You send chariot archers in to push off the gold mine. Kimo is going to be shorted like 1,500 resources or something. But instead, we see Joe with the forward temple. He's going da. So that's going to be a thing uh, as the priest coming over onto this location. Larry's here to say no, and the pharaoh. spots this he spots the forward temple but does this matter is the question here and what's chemo going to do in response here he's already got some villages onto wood he's only got five villages on gold what joe's tars coming through villagers coming forward to push these back we see the shifting sands coming and then the rain what is this game? More priests coming out for Joe. Going to be hitting these, these villages over here. There's no... I mean, Kimo gets extra wood gather rate from the rain from those two uh, two villages on wood. And the, the, the wadger getting pushed back. Villagers trying to push in. 
priest kills the wadget. He has managed to save this priest over here with three HP remaining. The village is retreating for Joe. And we are seeing Joe continuing to take this fight over here, but there's no Pharaoh. That's the big problem here. The Shifting Sands is too big. But Joe still has his own Shifting Sands. We'll see what's going to happen. We see a Barris coming out for Chemo. This is going to be classic fighting here. Um, but honestly, no, no farms down for the rain. Pretty big win for Joe, even though he's had the idle time on those villages for just a little bit. Um, he's kind of probably going to be fine. Is he still building priests? Dude, he's still building priests. I don't even know what to say here. Here's the units coming in where we see the Shifting Sands. We do see the Shifting Sands into the base. Uh, but the, the units run immediately. Joe's Shifting Sands in an awful position here. These The priests will be able to retreat out this side here, but that's about... They're going to take a little bit more damage from this watchtower. Uh, the food can be pushed off over here. These units running in going to be attempting to take down the spearmen as Joe is trying to priest rush... Uh, a chemo right here. We see the villagers coming over into this location. Going to be starting the villager fight. Do we have a upgrade here? No. Skin of the Rhino. The villagers do decide to run away here uh, as the priests and everything else manage to get out of here with full HP. That's absolutely huge for chemo. The priests still going at this. The spearmen doing a lot of damage. Villagers coming in here to hit the, uh, the priests over here. The wadget does fall there. Kimo sniping that one. More villagers for Joe here. Helping out a ton. We'll see. Will he go for the tower? Villagers get that bonus damage against towers here. He does go for it, but the villagers instantly get pulled off of the gold mine. These villagers going down incredibly quickly. And Joe looks as if this cheese is not working out for him. He's lost a ton of villagers here. More priests coming out for Kimo here as these units over here just chilling, healing back up. And now Kimo can return onto this food source here. And uh, man, this is a Mimi Finals if I have ever seen one. Joe clearly has some ideas here, but Kimo's got some better ideas. He completely counters this push. This gold mine was way exposed, and Joe just couldn't get in on it. I honestly, if. If Joe had just done the, the one town center fast heroic and Kimo went for his second town center here, this game is completely different. But, uh, well, Joe, Joe, Joe losing this game, Kimo winning it. That's uh, three games for Kimo. Kimo now on match points. Maybe Joe will play a serious game here in the last game. Oh, if you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the, the uh, follow button on the Twitch if you're on the YouTube. Hit so that. Subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next game.